of friends and family. Welcome back to Starkey Formstead. So look, I have the most mind blowing video for you. First off, let me start by saying that there's so much going on in the world right now that's wicked. And I grew up as somebody who really enjoyed science as a child, okay? So I wanna read to you guys what is going on right now in the science world that you need to be concerned with. First is something called dish brain. Yeah, you heard me right. So just to clarify, this is 800,000 brain cells that have formed a tiny brain in a Petri dish, okay? And these dish brains can perform goal-directed tasks. In this case, the simple tennis-like computer game Pong. The researchers' experiments provide evidence that brain cells in a dish can exhibit inherent intelligence, modifying their behavior over time. Future directions of this work have potential in disease modeling, drug discoveries, and expanding their current understanding of how the brain works and how intelligence arises. I know it's, it's very disturbing and I, I'm not making fun of it. Um, I felt like you guys really needed to hear this because there, there is a point to me reading this to you guys. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm looking for the first one. Okay. So here we develop dish brain, a system that harnesses the inherent adaptive computation of neurons in a structured environment. In vitro neural networks from human or rodent origins are integrated in silico computing via a high density multi-electrode array. Through electrophysiological stimulation and recording, cultures are embedded in a simulated game world mimicking the arcade game Pong. Folks, further experiments demonstrate the importance of a closed loop structured feedback in eliciting learning over time. Cultures display the ability to self-organize activity in a goal-oriented, goal-directed manner in response to sparse sensory information about the consequences of their actions, which we term synthetic biological intelligence. Do you know what this means? They have taken, and I'm going to prove it to you, aborted fetus cells and they are using them in petri dishes and they're hooking them up to computers to learn how wicked is that my friends how truly wicked is that it's wicked Guys, if you'd like to support what we do here at Storky Formstead because YouTube doesn't pay us, please feel free to look at the top of comments down there. There's a couple of different ways you can do that. God bless you guys. Have an amazing night. Listen, you're not going to want to turn this video off. Yes, I'm reading. Just listen. It doesn't stop there. Have you guys heard about the invisibility cloaks that China now has? And Canada, I might add. Well, they're real. They are real. Um... I need to find, hold on, give me just one second. I want to find the very first one in this article. Um, so this is an article from Duke University. Okay, it says, the guy Smith, that's what they call him. Smith took seriously his feelings that it was now time to move on from pure academic fun and games. I really said, okay, I'm going to turn my attention now to try to make this useful. I really wanted to see this go somewhere. I'm very conscious that this is taxpayer money we're spending doing all this stuff. And I think it's important to see that the public gets a benefit for their investment. Really? Because let me tell you what benefit you and I get. We're fixing to talk about something called meta materials. Okay. In science classes, we learned that everything in the world, air, water, animals, humans is made of matter of which atoms are the building blocks. Everybody agree with that? Yes, we all learned that in like elementary school. Materials are the matter that make up objects. And when waves, what have we been talking a lot here about? Frequencies, microwaves, radars. And when waves, light, energy, sound, any kind of waves hit material, they respond in predictable ways. So they've been studying you and I like lab rats, okay? I don't care if they put it in writing. Their research 
proves it, okay? So there's this wave matter interaction, Smith said, defined by the atomic makeup of the material and whether the wave moves through a thing or bounces off it. That's what characterizes the material. Scientists use the phrase index of refraction to describe the wave matter interaction and it is used to have to be positive, okay? In metamaterials, the index of refraction can be negative, which kind of changes physics. Here's where we get good. I hope you're listening. The original definition was material properties not found in nature, said Duke engineering professor Steve Kummer, who worked on that invisibility experiment with Smith. But over time, that got sort of lost. I think it morphed more toward material properties by design. Much of Cummer's work now focuses on sound. Sound has nice long wavelengths and is physical instead of electromagnetic. So his lab has been able to do such things as create a plastic pyramid made of small perforated blocks that could function as a cloaking device for sonar. It has also used an array of blocks to create an acoustic hologram, each little block controlling the direction of sound in three-dimensional space, resulting in a controllable sound wave. Once your time lit light into knots, you may be forgiven if you have neared the limit of your understanding. The research grows more fascinating by the year, but the people who came out to the Washington Duke we're there to hear how metamaterials were turning from amazing ideas into amazing things, all on taxpayer dollars. Remember that, okay? And creating companies that would get these things out into the world. Companies now, all taxpayer dollars. That was 2012. Since then, five companies have spun out of Smith's lab, and another five, <clears throat> excuse me, are in development. Duke has created Duke capital partners to provide guidance to Duke entrepreneurs and connect them to sources of capital in the alumni community using your tax dollars, folks. Smith himself co-founded Metacept, a meta materials accelerator in 2018, and it spun out to its first startup in 2019. They're all becoming millionaires on your tax dollars, folks. All right, so it goes on to say... That sounds like work. And the companies that have rolled out of Smith's lab have done that. Concentrating on applications within the meta surface area, focusing largely on communications and sensors. More than a decade ago, Smith's work started getting the attention of investors such as Bill Gates and the Invention Science Fund of Investment. Now we're getting somewhere. That's the manipulation of sound waves. It's, the law, it's, it's along the lower parts of the electromagnetic spectrum where the freaky stuff happens and it's not just invisibility. It's computer engineering, working with metasurfaces, simply the 2D equivalent of metamaterials. Working as a postdoc, he recalled, we found that a planar surface was enough to achieve a, lot, achieve a lot of these novel effects and potential applications. It says, they are another implication of metamaterials and they enable scientists to change the direction of microwave beams rapidly and fluidly using small and expensive flat metasurfaces instead of enormous and costly antenna dishes. This is of enormous interest throughout the communication of the world. Folks, it says they use arrays of objects to mimic material structure in some way and to change how the wave interacts. It says, importantly, the objects the scientists create have to be smaller than the wavelength of the incoming wave. The invisibility experiment, for example, was done using microwaves because the microwaves were about a centimeter in wavelength and making smaller than that is not insurmountable. To control microwaves, that experiment used a series of concentric circles of copper etched with specific geometric patterns easily smaller than the microwaves. Did you hear what I just said? 
They use copper with etched designs to move microwaves. What the holy snapping beans is this about? Does this almost sound like witchcraft? I mean, it's science, but I'm just saying, you guys. Um, okay, so let me repeat that to you. To control the microwaves, the experiment used a series of concentric circles of copper etched with specific ge geometric patterns, easily smaller than the microwaves. Those are the metamaterials. Each of those is engineered to give a certain magnetic and electric response. So when the waves come in, it is sort of bent around and comes out straight on the other side of the material instead of bouncing off. That's what metamaterials do. They make waves do things they shouldn't. Okay? So I'm going to tell you guys right now, what happened in Lahaina, Maui was very possible. We all thought do weapon, right? We all thought blue lasers because that's military. But you wouldn't even need that anymore, folks. You wouldn't even need a military-style weapon to pull off what they did. With the chemtrails they're dumping in the sky and the metals that are floating in the air around us, they could bounce microwave, holy stinking smokes. I want to show you guys one more thing, and then I'm going for the night because we just got back from the vet with Hammer, and I still need to medicate him. And God bless all of you that sent your dollars to help me pay for that. I really do love these you guys. were sent to me. There were actually Christians telling me that I should get rid of this, that this was demonic, that this was some kind of spiritual nonsense. You know what this is? This is disrupting any of the microwave rays that they send to my house. You see the copper coming. Oh, these are heavy out of the bottom. Okay. See the copper twirled in there with all the different rocks. You know why she made these for me? Because they work. They're called tower busters. You need to get some of these around all the windows in your house, folks. All the doors. Around your actual microwave unit that you nuke your food with. That's why they used to laugh and make a joke about that. Nuking the food. It's taking all the nutrients out of it. You should put these under all your children's beds. Yep, I'm being dead serious. The four corners of your property. You can make them in any shape. The materials are easy to make if you can't buy them. They can bend, they can make microwaves do things that is physically, physically, which means physics, impossible, simply by using metals with etched geometric symbols on them. Maybe that is why all the Egyptian pyramids had etched symbols in them. Things that make you go, hmm, like, comment, subscribe, share this video.